about uh, your dry eye history? Um, I think it started uh, about three years ago and it has pretty much been an everyday thing for me. I maybe have gone one or two days, not in a row certainly, that I haven't thought about it. But it affects everything you do. If you get on a plane, you hope that it's not too long a flight because the air is so dry. When you get in the car, the first thing you do is close the vents. You turn down ceiling fans. You never sleep under an air conditioning vent. It's just, it's something that seems so minor and yet just has repercussions that touch almost every hour of your life that you become so sensitive to the whole thing. It's almost as if when you blink, you're dragging your eyelid over a dry surface. And it's mm -hmm. very, very unpleasant. So if somebody didn't really appreciate the importance of dry eye, and what, what would you want to convey to them that's most impactful if you kind of divide your life into sort of pre-dry eye and now dry eye, what's the biggest impact that's made on your life, the biggest thing about you as a person? I think that occasionally at the end of the day I have looked into a mirror and I've almost not recognized myself. My eyes are so red and the rims are so red mm -hmm. and I think it's made me think I'm really old. I'm old anyway, but I, it's made me feel as if I was 10 years older than my chronological age. So it just makes you feel like you're aging too quickly? And you're tired. You feel tired because you look tired. Okay. What about uh, children, grandchildren? Oh, my grandchildren. Um, I have a couple of grandchildren that when they've been spending the night will look at me and say, Grandma's got her devil eyes. And devil eyes? Yes, because my eyes are so red, I look like they're expecting for my head to start spinning oh, any moment. So, so do they behave better when you have the devil eyes? Uh, or? I, I w wish. <laughs> no, they know it's just my eyes. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Having just had the lip of flow, Alice, tell me, tell me what, uh, what you think. There's an overwhelming sensation of softness. It's almost as if when you blink there's no drag on the eyeball. No there's, drag. It, it, it sort of glides over the surface of the eye. Okay. And okay. It, it's just an amazing feeling. I, I can't remember feeling like this. Okay, good. I, I think the anesthetic is worn off by now, yeah. and uh, I, I want to make sure you're getting the genuine sensation that I think you'll have, you know, with, uh, yeah. and uh, I, I haven't even irrigated uh, your eyes out or anything or given you any additional medicine. You don't seem to be very red either. Uh, the whole experience, I almost fell asleep in there. Okay. It was that comforting and if you've got dry eyes that kind of heat and the pulsing it's extremely comforting to the yeah. eye. And yeah and I've had two patients tell me they were glad it didn't get any warmer than it did. No, I, since I use hot compresses uh, I use compresses that are warmer than that. Really? I do. Okay, well, I think, though, that we're getting the heat right in the back where we need to mm -hmm. in terms of proximity to the gland and also across the entire gland. So I think uh, I, I'm encouraged. It was, it was a very relaxing experience, and right now I just can't believe how my eyes feel. They are... Not everybody gets this much improvement right away. But I came in here in such a state <laughs> that I think that even if it were for someone else marginal improvement, for me, it's made that big a difference. Very good. Very good. 
All right. Having just had the lipa flow, Alice, tell me, tell me what, uh, what you think. There's an overwhelming sensation of softness. It's almost as if when you blink, there's no drag on the eyeball. No there's, drag. It, it, it sort of glides over the surface of the eye. Okay. Lid, and okay. It, it's just an amazing feeling. I, I can't remember feeling like this. Okay, good. I, I think the anesthetic has worn off by now. Yeah. And uh, I, I want to make sure you're getting the genuine sensation that I think you'll have, you know, with... Uh, yeah. And uh, I, I haven't even irrigated uh, your eyes out or anything or given you any additional medicine. You don't seem to be very red either. Uh, the whole experience, I almost fell asleep in there. Okay. It was that comforting and if you've got dry eyes that kind of heat and the pulsing it's extremely comforting to the yeah. eye. Yeah. Yeah, now I've had two patients tell me they were glad it didn't get any warmer than it did. Now, I since I use hot compresses uh, I use compresses that are warmer than that. Really? I do. Okay, well, I think, though, that we're getting the heat right in the back where we need to mm -hmm. in terms of proximity to the gland and also across the entire gland. So I think uh, I, I'm encouraged. It was, it was a very relaxing experience, and right now I just can't believe how my eyes feel. They are... Not everybody gets this much improvement right away. But I came in here in such a state <laughs> that I think that even if it were for someone else marginal improvement, for me, it's made that big a difference. Very good. Very good. All right.